Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. So for today's video, I am very excited to do a first impression of the Telfar East Pack medium backpack. So this is just the dust bag, but I mean, it's it's actually a really nice dust bag. It's nylon and then it of course has like the two logos. This one's just like slapped onto it. I didn't unbox this on camera because I was, I can just go into the story. So I live in Europe and I didn't realize that they were going to do a Telfar East Pack collab drop in Europe because the first one was just in the US. So I ordered it and I had it shipped to my sister's house. So then I just picked it up when I went to visit her, but I mean, it's kind of like a little unboxing feeling right now, especially with how much I'm struggling. <laughs> there it is. So it is a backpack. It is nylon, but I don't know. I, I love it. I love that it's a rectangle and then it's just like... I have worn it a couple times, but I still think it's fine to give a first impression for it. I think using a bag once or twice isn't really enough to actually know how to feel about it. I got this bag because... A, I love Telfar, and B, I actually was kind of looking for a backpack. Like, I have a lot of bags that I use pretty casually, and they're not always super casual. And then I also thought that getting a backpack might be nice so that I could actually, like, go hands-free sometimes if I actually need to run errands or something like that, where, like, having a crossbody, maybe even though that's hands-free, it's not as uh, convenient. For me, it was kind of interesting trying to buy something in an American website using, I, I guess I ended up using my American credit card. I don't know, it was just really stressful for me because like, I was like, what if it doesn't work? What if like I have to do like X, Y, or Z to make it go through and then I miss out? But then in the end, of course, it worked out and I was able to get it shipped to my sister's house. It's actually funny because like, when I opened the box at my sister's house, I was like, weirdly uncomfortable about it so i kind of just like opened it up as quick as i could because a i was also like excited but b i was like i was like oh this is weird she's like watching me do this and it's not like it was like a super expensive thing it's telfar and like they make things for like very reasonable prices but it still was like the same like experience you would expect from telfar it had a, a really sturdy like nice box and it opened up to a plastic bag to keep it protected and then of course it had the dust bag on it and then you just slipped it out and it was like this so for me it was a very nice unboxing experience my first impression of this is a like there's actually a much like nicer quality nylon than i kind of expected i know like east pack is super well known for their backpacks and i'm sure telfar wouldn't move forward with something that um, he wasn't comfortable with or really approved of. I know it's like polyester, but it almost feels like a cotton canvas. I mean, watch it be a cotton canvas. It has like a really nice material, and I do actually love that there's like an elastic band with like a mesh pocket, and I actually have a water bottle that fits perfectly, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Of course, it has the debossed, embossed? Embossed? Uh, Telfar logo onto the or into the the nylon and then of course it has its backpack straps and then a reinforcing like nylon like, ribbon or whatever you'd call it and then I do like that it still has like a top handle and then the top handle is just backpack like nylon webbing straps but then it's on both sides of the opening and I love that it has like a zip opening on the top and then if you actually look there's like little plastic d-rings and that's because it comes with a strap that you can use to carry it on your shoulder or crossbody or whatever. This is the most organization things that I've ever had in a bag. I understand like it's not like super top tier luxury and like it is a backpack and it's East Pack, but like the fact that there is like a little computer, or, like iPad, little pocket. It's like padded on both sides and it has a little velcro strap to like keep everything secured and then it has another mesh like elastic pocket in here to like separate from the big compartment and then there still is of course like a nice little like zippered pocket i will say the one thing i'm a little sad about is that this tag doesn't have the special pocket that all the other telfars have but you know you win some you lose some but i don't know it's a lot of organization that i i really like 
And you know what's funny? A lot of people talk about how like, oh, well, I wish Telfar would put like more reinforcement in the bottom so it doesn't sag as much. Um, there's reinforcement in here. So you can see it like it's very flat and I'm even like pressing against it. So we'll see how long it lasts. Watch this be like cardboard or something or like a corrugated polypropylene or something like little like corrugated plastic or something. But I love the organization. I'm excited to actually like really use it and see like what works for me, like what I need to be super secure and what I just want to be separated from the main compartment. Will I ever carry an iPad in here? Uh, right now, I am already like super excited to use this pack, especially because it's like East Pack. I think it's something that I don't really have to like worry about messing up. East Pack's known for like having durable bags, right? I don't know. I love it. I love the shape of it. It's so funny. It's like the shopping bag turned into a backpack. And anytime like a backpack has a different shape, huge fan. All right, and then as far as how I think I'm going to use it, this is definitely going to become kind of like an errands bag in a way. Like, I know like this one I said was like my quick errands bag, and I think this one might become like a longer or more complicated errands bag. So like if I need to like hop on the train to head anywhere or go somewhere and I know I have to carry stuff back, I'm definitely going to bring this. My biggest thing about it is that it's a bag that's very easily hands-free. Like literally it's a backpack and that's like the most secure thing, I think. I definitely want to take it like traveling. I don't know if it's big enough for a weekend trip. And that's something that I've seen a lot of people say. They said it's a bit smaller than it, they expected. It doesn't fit their computer. I mean, I personally don't need it to fit a computer and I'm just kind of excited to see how I use it. Okay. So my favorite segment from these types of videos is one I like to call Fill Her Up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, but it's called Fill Her Up because it's kind of like what fits in the bag. Of course, because I don't take myself seriously. Well, you'll see. But let's start off. I know I mentioned very specifically that there was an iPad sleeve or like a sleeve for like a little computer. So I just brought my iPad into that little pocket. I'm going to drop this in. It fits very comfortably. That actually is nice. Yeah. And it's like cushioned on both sides. That's nice. What else? What else? My card holder and I'm going to put that in the zippered pocket. My keys and my comically large eggplant keychain. And sure, some Vaseline. Who doesn't love a little protectant? Also, if we're going to talk about things that are important for protection, my dairy pills. Two little to-go packs because you never know. I mean, I don't know, so you never know. Let's toss in the AirPods into that little pocket. There's still a lot of room. I fully understand this is a backpack, so this is going to be very different from the other filler ups that I've done. But to go along with, oh, taking care of yourself, an almost empty tube of lotion, CeraVe, it's great. I have eczema. Is that oversharing? I have an unopened one because you never know when that's going to run out. I want to have a backup, but it's like having anxiety. Where would you be without hand sanitizer? And then also a mask. I'm also gonna put it in like the protective thing. Little zipper pocket. I mean, it feels heavy, but I don't know, it seems fine. I think also something that's nice that the zipper pocket is next to the logo, so it doesn't look like it really dishapes, dishapes? Misshapes the bag. Okay, let's get into some uh, bulkier stuff again. If we're talking about anxiety, a battery pack, because I never want to be without. Charger cable. The battery pack can go in the main compartment, but then the charger pack I'll put in the mesh pocket. And because I have such crippling anxiety, a second battery pack. I'm just like really oversharing with you guys. <laughs> oh, uh, a pair of sunglasses. We can put that in the mesh pocket. Another pair of sunglasses without the case, because even though I have crippling anxiety, I still lose things. That can also go in the mesh pocket. My passport, that actually, maybe that makes sense with the iPad. And then, who doesn't love to be educated? Currently I'm reading Memorial by Brian Washington. Let's put a book in there so we can feel smart. I'll just pull it out on the train and like let people know we're better than them. Letting people know that we're better than them, a little reusable bag. Eh? Really like got a thing going. It's a little <laughs> portable humidifier, you just put it in like a bottle or a glass of water. Oh, and because I am such a little weirdo, I'm gonna bring a full bottle of lactose pills because you never have too many. Because we are going to have our book and we're gonna go read in the park. A beer, it's a sour beer. I love sour beers, really great for the summer. 
and then a little coaster for the beer. So it's a little pallet from Flying Tiger. Head of garlic that can just go right next to the beer because that makes sense. And then a little tub of Nutella. You're probably wondering like, why are you bringing a tub of Nutella? Like the garlic I get, but why a little tub of Nutella? Well, we're gonna bring a banana for a snack. I think that's pretty good actually. But then of course, like I would be a liar and a fraud if I didn't follow up on mentioning the water bottle. So the water bottle that fits perfectly in this bag is I like this kind of shape. I feel like if you have like a Polish spring bottle or like whatever the version is from your part of the country or this, it's a dopper water bottle. If it's perfectly in the side and it just like slides in. And you know what, because it's summer, we want to be hydrated. I also have a second one. So we're going to put that on the other side. My God. All right. <laughs> I mean, it looks a little ridiculous. No, it doesn't. Does that look bad? It's a little puffy, but it's good. Oh my god, this is heavy. But look at that! All that fit in, it zipped closed, it doesn't look too crazy. So I mean, if we want to make it more realistic, okay, let's, let's be realistic. Oh, I kind of want to leave the banana. Let's take out the coaster, take out the garlic, fine, the extra dairy pill, a little Nutella, sure. I know, I'm just backtracking on my word. In reality, we don't need two bottles of lotion. I don't need two of the to-go dairy pills. Okay, does that look more like something a normal person would carry? And you know what? Just for aesthetics, I'm gonna take up one of the water bottles because I like the look of one water bottle in it. It looks normal, right? Yeah, I would say that looks good. It has a little bit of a kookiness, but what do you want? It's a backpack. It's made out of nylon. Hi! I think that's a great. And obviously, like, it's a backpack, so it should hold this much stuff, but like, it's not the biggest backpack. But I think because the shape of it is nice, it all just fits pretty good. And then even the banana's on top, so it doesn't get extra bruised. And see, I kept the beer in because, you know, who doesn't love a good beer on a summer evening with a book? Oh my god, I sound so smart. I sound like really cultured, and that makes me feel very good. That's it. Those are my thoughts and that's kind of what fits in it. Um, I can't wait to use it more and then give a full review. So look out for that if you're interested. But yeah, so let me know. What do you think? Do you have this bag? Do you like it? And have you used it a lot? Like, I definitely saw some things on social media that people were unhappy with. But then of course, like you only ever see the bad stuff. And I'm wondering like, do you have any positive things to say? In any case, just let me know. I love hearing from you guys, but that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Yeah, like working out. I don't know what exercise this is.